Hey guys, Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Welcome to your daily tarot card reading and this is going to be for Monday, August 3rd and it's kind of a look into your week ahead as well. So guys, welcome here to the channel. Thanks so much for joining me. So I'm going to use a Enchanted Monday spread along with the Deviant Moon tarot card deck and this is kind of a freaky artwork deck so brace yourself for some weird images but they're also really cool and some of them are um, hilariously funny and endearing so um, anyway let's have a look at the first card what to expect or focus on and let me just do one more shuffle here so we've got the fool card <laughs> I love this one. He looks like he's in his pajamas, like rocking out a dance party. But the Fool card is a brand new journey and feeling like fresh and alive and just having high expectations of what can come in for you and possibly finishing a karmic cycle for many of you and just feeling like, yay, you know, this guy is really having a great time here and just having a blast so you can expect this to come in and if you're not feeling that type of energy you can shift your energy here like bring an image to your mind that's going to make you smile you know you're allowed to and you're able to change your own mood and energy just by choosing to do so so i think that's a great first card to come in for you so let's see what to embrace for monday so you have the Queen of Swords, and I've seen her coming up a lot in many different readings that I'm doing. So there's this really, I'm getting the word imperialistic sort of energy available to you. And you could be at the point where um, you may be at the end of your rope with certain situations and it's time to start voicing your opinion instead of you know, sort of curtailing your words or maybe shrinking back, you know, and you can do this with all kinds of democracy. You don't need to come out guns blazing, but there's definitely an aura of taking no more nonsense, you know, so that you can express your opinion and maybe start signing petitions or doing something a little bit differently to stand up for you and what you believe is right. Um, so this could be the beginning of a new journey for you. Absolutely, when you combine it with the Fool card, you know, you're just tired and you're not going to take it anymore, right? So, and this does happen in your current life. You could be sick of what you're doing or some what somebody else is doing. You know, your boss, your job, you know, whatever is going on in your life, you could be just like, okay, well, you know, I'm pretty much fed up with that piece of whatever, you know, and you want to just start things over again and maybe you feel a little bit more respected or valued in your own life you know what i'm saying Whoa. so i do a lot of that kind of shuffle so let's see what to bring forward guys well <laughs> so we have the four of swords here and this is like are you kidding me what kind of energy is that you know, the Four of Swords really talks about finding a way to relax yourself. And at first glance, it can look like, you know, this character is really impaled by the sword. But, and it's such a weird deck. It's like he's underground and, you know, the swords are like stabbed into the earth. So it's a very bizarre energy and you could really be throwing people off. You know, people could think that, wow, you've grown a spine all of a sudden and you really stood up for yourself and it could really throw them off, especially if they're not used to you saying that's enough, you know, or you're just always the kind person. Um, and it's just you're done with somebody's attitude, their motivation, the way they do things. You're done. OK, so what to bring forward? Bring forward your peaceful energy because you can dissolve things without conflict, okay? So Four of Swords is really urging you to take a breath, look at the best way to say things, you know, and sort of breathe into things. What a creepy card, am I right? Wow, this deck just blows my mind. Okay, so let's see what to leave behind here with the next card, you guys. Honestly, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of cups. Sorry, I have to count them because the cards are so weird and I just haven't been working with this deck very long and it has Roman numerals. So there's wishful thinking involved here. This is a really bizarre card. You know, you can see somebody has a genie in a bottle and they're kind of waiting for things to work out. They're like, well, if I wish for this really hard, maybe my boss will be nicer to me or, you know, maybe I'll get an extended curfew from my parents. You know, there's something going on. You guys really strongly want it to happen, but wishful thinking is not cutting it anymore. You know, you're really going to have to go and stake your claim and, and come out and really with some forethought and consideration and consider the response that's also really important here too what do you want to hear back and how can you basically coach people into responding in the way that you would like them to you know give people options you know i've had a chance to consider this situation and this is what i would like to see come out of it a little bit more instead of blah 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 and just making accusations because that doesn't work if you're going to come forward and say that there's something wrong with what the status quo is, then offer solutions, maybe offer a tier of solutions or a selection, you know, and if this, then that. So you can get what you want without like crossing your fingers, like, oh, today's gonna be the day, you know? Well, if you wanna raise, go and ask for it. Like if you want, you have to go after what you want. That's what I'm seeing here. And you're gonna be really truly empowered with this full card because He's like, yeah, it's finally my time. And maybe you woke up and this is the day that you're going to go get it. And with the power of the Queen of Swords, everything should be working out really, really well for you. But have a strategy, guys. You know, just like I said before, don't go in guns blazing because that's not going to cut it. Stop crossing your fingers and like do something. Start making your mind and your your mouth work for you instead of wishful thinking and i keep on getting the word the words fishful thinking and i have absolutely no idea why but maybe that's gonna maybe it's gonna make sense to somebody out there but i sure as heck don't know but anyway looks like a really promising day and week ahead where you can exercise um your patience and strength of character and persuasion to get exactly what you want when you want it okay guys take care bye